Hey y'all, Wilson here. I want to you to picture this. Picture the steam rising from a pot of coarsely ground grits, whispering tales of the earth's bounty, mingling with the rich embrace of a heavy cream. Look, I want you to hear the sizzle of Cajun andouille sausage and the savory dance of bacon. We're going to add in another cast of characters, some shrimp, bell peppers, onions, going to join in the harmony, echo in the vibrant spirits of New Orleans, y'all. Alchemy of butter and flour creating a golden ruse that weaves a spell embracing the ensemble true tradition of the crescent city damn damn y'all i know how this tastes and it makes my mouth water just thinking about it and that's what i'm doing right now so uh we're gonna get to it all right y'all got a shrimp deveined for those who don't know and i've been surprised a lot of people don't know but you got to take out that black part because that's their intestinal tract y'all you don't want to eat their poop. All right. What we'll do is we're going to hit this with some cayenne pepper. And uh, I like it, like it kind of spicy. So I'm going to put quite a bit in there. Get it covered. Just like that, y'all. A little salt. A little more salt. Move it around. Get it all nice and covered up there. Then we've got some lemon juice. Basically just a medium lemon completely squeezed out. Fresh is always best, y'all. All right, gonna let that sit. We'll put it off to the side. Move on to the next step. We're gonna make them grits, y'all. Get our grits going. We've got our water. You go three cups of water. You go, depends if you wanna cut the recipe in half. What I'm doing, one and a half cups and one teaspoon of salt. Get this thing boiling over medium high heat. All right, y'all got a water boiled. Now we're gonna add in our grits. I know what you're saying probably. Hey, Mark, we know how to make grits, but we ain't making just regular grits, y'all. We're making something special. We got our grits, gonna get those stirred in. Get them all whisked around. Here's a special part to the grits. Why it makes it a little bit longer to cook, a little bit better, and a heck of a lot more delectable. We're gonna pour in one cup of heavy cream. So it's half a cup of grits, one cup of heavy cream. As always, this thing is the recipe for this is in the description below. So we're gonna stir this, let it cook down uh, 15, maybe 20 minutes, but it's gonna be really thick, really creamy, and damn delicious. Next up, we want our skillet on medium high heat. We're gonna add in our andouille sausage. Don't be close to putting pineapple sausage in here now. I love some pineapple sausage. It's divine, it's amazing. We want andouille Cajun style, okay? Makes a huge difference, y'all. Get these things, we're gonna cook them for about eight minutes or so. Of course, we're gonna switch them over halfway through. And uh, we'll see you in just a minute. All right, y'all, sausage is done. Nice and brown, just the way we want it. We're gonna keep all of this oil and the fat and the grease and other things that come off of this and leave it right in here. We'll put that off to the side and we're going in with something special next. It's baking time, y'all. We'll get this in here, get it going. About, I don't know, four to five minutes aside. We want it done. We want it to where it's done, where it's not burnt, but we want it to be where we can take it and crumble it up. I'll show you what it looks like. Y'all, we got our bacon nice and crispy, just the way we want it. I guess we can put it on some paper towels to get this oil off of it. Grease, fat, whatever description you decide to give it, you feel free to give it to it. All right, y'all, next up, we're putting in our bell peppers. Gonna put them in the same grease we just took the bacon out of. Not draining it, we're keeping it all, y'all. If you want something healthy to eat, you better grab a pair of uh, some cashews or something. Look, we're gonna get our onions. We'll get those, these are all nicely chopped. Just what we want them to be. Get them all put in here. And we're gonna move these things around. Cook them to the nice and tender, y'all. Usually it'll take about eight, maybe 10 minutes, depending on how high you got your heat, okay? See you in a second. All right, y'all, we got our vegetables nice and soft, as you can see here. It smells divine. We got our minced garlic. We're gonna get that in there. Uh, putting in half a teaspoon. Recipe calls for, for a different amount, which is a little bit more. Uh, but like I said, I'm just cutting this in half for today. And what we're gonna do is just like the garlic. You wanna put it in there last. You just put it in there with all the rest of the stuff, your garlic ends up burnt. Tastes bad. We don't want a bad taste in garlic. Just about a minute or two where it's fragrant. That's the way to go. 
Yeah, you got our garlic. Mm, smells up, makes everything smell even better. Now we've got our sausage, cooked sausage. We're just gonna slide that back in here. We're gonna take this thing off the heat. We're gonna set it off to the side and we're gonna work on our next incredible phase of this process. So the next phase of this consists of two things that are crucial to any Cajun Creole cook. Butter and flour, because y'all we're making a roux. So we've got our butter, we're gonna get it in here. We're gonna get it melted. Then we're gonna stir in our flour we get this to be a golden brown shouldn't take them more than about eight minutes y'all we're not going with a deep dark roux just a light golden brown roux all right y'all got this delicious golden brown roux we're going to pour this all over our current vegetables we've got our bell peppers onions and sausage in there all mixed up i'm going to pour that in there and make sure it all gets covered in there we got more stuff to add too. All right, my friends, we've got more things to add into this delicious mixture. We're gonna start with this bacon we cooked, crumbled. This is a crumble. We're gonna add that in there. We're gonna add in our Worcestershire sauce. A tablespoon of that or a half tablespoon, depending on whether you're making a full batch or half batch. And then we got one cup of chicken stock we're adding in here. What we'll do is we wanna get this going over medium heat. Once it starts to boil up a little bit, we're adding our shrimp, y'all. At that point, we're adding our shrimp. Get that nice and going. Now we're gonna take our shrimp. You know how size your shrimp are. These little ones, about eight minutes. That's about it. So it turns nice and pink color. Uh, if you got bigger shrimp than these, little bitty things, you're gonna to take it a little bit longer to cook. If you need to add a little bit more chicken stock during that process, you go right ahead, but over medium heat, these little ones about eight minutes. That's all there is to it, y'all. Wait for that to finish. We're gonna add in our cheese into our grits. This is half a cup of shredded mild cheddar. Damn, y'all. Wish you could smell this. I wish this would actually come across. It'd be fantastic for y'all. See our shrimp's perfectly done. Sauce nice and thickened. And we've got our nice creamy grits, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. I wish you could taste it. We're gonna get this thing plated. Basically, we're gonna put a foundation of grits down. I'm gonna put a lot of grits down, y'all. Normally I don't, but just for you all. Make a bed. Try to get it all nice and rounded for you all. Get a nice little indention there. A little crevasse for us to go into. Next up is going to be our delicious shrimp, y'all. Mmm. Well, here you have it, y'all. Creamy, sun-kissed grits, cradling succulent shrimp, and then rustic charm and sausage. Like I said, this is more than a meal. It's more like a journey to the heart of Southern tradition. It opens up an invitation for you to basically savor the symphony of flavors and enjoy the art of Southern cuisine and the unmistakable spice of the one and only Crescent City of New Orleans. This dish is to die for. And I gotta tell you what, and if you're gonna love this, if you make it. And if you love this, it's gonna be in my uh, latest cookbook coming out. Um, look, they, my cookbook's not only tantalize your taste buds, but it also help make a difference in the world. Volume four, which this one will be in, it's also in the description below. I don't wanna hold out, I want you guys to enjoy some damn good food. But the proceeds I receive from Cajun Eats and Worldly Treats are gonna be donated directly to uh, Canines for Warriors. That's caninesforwarriors.org. Well, it's a fantastic organization. They're determined to end veteran suicide. And they provide highly trained service dogs to military veterans suffering from PTSD and trauma, uh, with the vast majority of their dogs being rescues. Look, it's an innovative program that allows the team to basically create an unwavering bond that helps facilitate veterans' healing and, look, in recovery. And you're also you're helping veterans, you're helping dogs. I know you can get behind that, right? 
Feel free to donate to them directly. The links are below. Uh, KnastForWarriors.org. Hit them up, donate, give what you can. Everything will help them out. Anything will help them out. Uh, and let me uh, know what you think about this recipe. Um, and I hope you make it because I can tell you it's fantastic. And if you donate directly to them, KnastForWarriors.org, I tell you what, uh, I'll send you a dragon tooth and be your most devoted supporter. Keep this in mind, y'all. You don't lose friends. You lose undercover haters. Real friends can never be lost. Until next time.